So in 2017, country A had a population of 2.35 and to the power 7 people. And of these people, 48% were male. Calculate the number of males in country A in 2017. So out of this number of people, 48% were male. And the first question is asking about finding out the number of male. Okay. So for this type of question, what you have to do is you just have to multiply the percentage with the actual value. 48% of 2.35 into 10 to the power 7. Okay, so just use the calculator. Now there is a shortcut process like 48% means it's actually 48 divided by 100 into 2.35 into 10 to the power 7. Or you can also consider it as 0 0.48 into 2.35 into 10 to the power 7. I mean, for a shortcut process, okay, 48%. If you divide it by 100, it's going to be 0 0.48. Then directly multiply with the number. So the answer is going to be 1.128 into 10 to the power 7. So you can keep it in four significant figure, or if you want, you can write in three significant figure. It doesn't matter because the question is not mentioning about uh, any significant figure, so you can keep it like uh, keep it like that. Okay, fine. So let's move on to next question B. Now, in question B, country A is divided into three different regions. These three regions are called East Region, Central Region, and West Region. In two thousand seventeen, the ratio of the number of males in the East Region to the number of males in the central region, to the number of males to the west region is five is to three is to two. So that means um, east, central, and west. The ratio of the male was five is to three is to two. Now we have to find out the number of males in the central region in 2017, and we have to keep the answer in standard form. Now, in case of this kind of ratios, if you want to find out a particular, um, if you want to find out one of the component from the ratio, like we need to find out the number of males in central region. So what we have to do, the value of the central, the value of the central region from the ratio, it has to be in the position of the numerator three. And sum of all the ratios has to be at the position of denominator, five plus three plus two. And we need to multiply the total number of males in the country, which is 1.13 into 10 to the power seven. So the answer is gonna be 3.384 into 10 to the power six. You can keep it like that or uh, as in the first question, we did express in three significant figure. Here we can also express it in three significant figure, but it's not an issue because in the question, uh, there is no mentioning of a particular significant number. So it's not a problem. Okay, fine. So let's move on to next question. In 2017, the number of females in the central region was 12.5% greater than the number of males in the central region. Calculate the number of females in the central region. So that's easy. In 2017, number of females was 12.5% greater than the number of males. So if we want to find out the number of females, it will be number of males, which is 3.38 into 10 to the power 6. Plus... 12.5% of 3.38 into 10 to the 6. Why? Because the number of females is 12.5% greater than the number of males in the central region. Okay, so number of males was 3.38 into 10 to the power 6 plus 12.5% of this value. 
So the answer is 3.807 into 10 to the power 6. If you write it down in three significant figure, it will be 3.81 into 10 to the power 6. In 2017, the number of females in the central region was 12.5% greater than the number of males in the central region. Calculate the number of females in the central region in 2017. No, that's easy. So, number of females equals to the value of males, we will consider the number with more digits for better accuracy. So 3.384 into 10 to the power 6 plus 12.5% of the same number, 3.384 into 10 to the power 6. It's going to be 3.807 into 10 to the power 6. So if you want to write it down in three significant figure into 10 to the power 6, so that will be the answer. Okay. It's very easy. So the number of females in the central region was 12.5% greater than the male. Okay. So the number of male is 3.384 into 10 to the power 6. And 12.5% greater than that means 12.5% of the same value. We need to add it up with the main value. Okay, for getting the answer. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Now in question C, uh, sorry, in question D, in 2010, country B had a population of 2.5 and 10 to the power 7 people. From 2010 to 14, the Population of country B increased by 2.4%. And 2014 to 2018, the population of country decreased by 2.4%. So uh, you need to carefully read the question. Otherwise, maybe um, you, you can pick wrong information from the question and your answer will come out as wrong. So be careful about it. Like in the first part, from 2010 to 14, the population is increasing, increasing by 2.4%. And from 14 to 18, the population is decreasing and it is decreasing by 2.4% as well, but it's decreasing. So calculate the population of country in 2018. So we will solve this math in two parts. First, 2010 to 2014. Population will be 2.5 into 10 to the power 7 plus 2.4% of 2.5 into 10 to the power 7. So the value will be, let me calculate it. That's 2.56 into 10 to the power 7. So that's the first part. In the second part, second part, now from 2014 to 2018. 2014 to 2018. The population has decreased by 2%. So now, if you want to find out the value of the population after 2018, what we have to do? We have to consider the number, the number of population at the end of 2014, which was 2.56 into 10 to the power 7 minus, why minus? Because the population is decreasing. It is decreasing by 2.4%. So 2.56 into 10 to the power 7 into 4%. Or 4% 4 of 2.56 into 10 to into the person.
So when we remove the percentage sign, it will be four by 100 into 2.56 and can step. If we calculate it, the ultimate, the final result will be 2.49856 into 10 to the first seven. And in three significant figures, it's gonna be 2.50. So that's the final answer. Okay, so I hope you have understood this question. So let's move on to the next question. <clears throat> 